Hello everybody, Josh M. Freeman here. I am back from my trip in L.A. And, uh, it was something. It was something else. Uh, gotta say, I barely made it out of there alive. I, the, that whole state has been turned into a war zone by all the marijuana that they allow to flourish and be sold in shops as if it's just something totally harmless and safe and just like, you know, buying a pack of cigarettes, you know, or a pack of gum, just buy it in a store, which is very dangerous because now the people have become desensitized to it and they're more accepting of it, which is a very bad thing. But all in all, I can say my research on the trip was pretty fruitful. Uh, we're going to be having a kind of a documentary coming out soon. We're in the process of editing, which is very difficult and tricky. But you'll see kind of a little bit of what happened. I'll explain um, what happened when I went after the, you know, the studios and the shops. Uh, of course, a lot of people out there are helpless. Um, they've lost hope. They have don't really, they don't have the resources we have to resist marijuana. But now I'm back home. I'm back in, back in my element. Back where I can be peaceful. Back where I can be serene and calm in nature and I gotta say it's nice it's very nice um, right when I got home I I started reading some really good uh, secular texts the Tao Te Ching um, and I have a passage here I want to read because I think it kind of applies to everything going on in the world with the marijuana crisis this is um, number 33 Knowing others is intelligence. Knowing yourself is true wisdom. Mastering others is strength. Mastering yourself is true power. If you realize that you have enough, you are truly rich. If you stay in the center and embrace death with your whole heart, you will endure forever. Now, I think that kind of captures a lot of what's going on with um, the situation in our world. Because a lot of people don't have intelligence, and all they know is death. And we just need to get back into the center. Um, and a lot of people are lost, so they turn the weed, and it doesn't. And, it, and it's kind of like cyclical cycle at that point, because then the weed gets them even more lost, and they do it even more. Um, an, an ant just tried to bite me. I think that was probably a result of it feeding off of a marijuana plant. But anyways. So you can see, even back at home, we're not safe. We have we have laws in this state here, Florida, to protect us from marijuana, but it's not enough because there's still the black market thugs who force it upon us. Um, usually at night, I see these people walking on the streets, uh, and I can tell they're dealing marijuana because they're walking in a very violent manner. But just keep fighting, stay peaceful, stay calm. I love you guys. MMYV supporters are the best people on earth. You're intelligent, you're smart, you're clean, you're beautiful. Only people who resist marijuana are like this. So I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Keep a lookout for that video. MMYV, Josh M. Freeman, out.